Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Everything Scuba. I'm Lyle. I'm Josh. Lyle and I are scuba instructors here in the Midwest. We are. We're very passionate about scuba diving. We want to make you just as passionate. So, this channel is about everything scuba. Click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. This is part four of our series. If you are an open water student and you're starting to study with us or any instructor, we're going to introduce you to the various components of the scuba unit. And our previous three episodes, we talked about air cylinder, BCD, and the regulator set. If you missed them, click the link above Josh's head and we'll take you back to those so you can review those videos. Today, we're going to put all those pieces together, right Josh? We are. We're going to assemble our scuba kit. Okay. So how do we do it? How do we do it safely and make sure it's uh, going to work the way we expect it to? So hang around, stick with us. We're going to go take a tour of your setup. Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Scuba. We're over here going through gear at North Iowa Scuba and we've come to the point where you learned about the tank, you learned about the BCD, you learned about a regulator set. Now we need to assemble that into our scuba unit. So we've already learned about the tank. We've learned about looking for the O-ring, smelling the air, checking the date of the tank. Everything is good. There are a few things that we need to remember. With a nylon strap, it's generally recommended to get this strap wet before we put it on the tank. It's debatable whether or not it helps, whether it provides a little bit more friction, uh, provides a chance for this to potentially get some of the wrinkles out. It's generally recommended. Then we're going to tank that. No need to unthread this. Just open it. We're going to slide this over our tank. We're going to slide it down a little bit. You'll notice there's this secondary strap. All we need to do is put that around around the valve. We don't need to tighten this up. Once the regulator's on, it's captured. We slide this down, and generally, for new divers, we like to recommend the top of the valve, roughly the height, the top of the BCD, of the neck cuff. So we'll go roughly there. That's a personal preference thing, and we can adjust the tank at a later time. We also need to think about the air to the hair. The air for, faces the back of your head or your neck. Once we have the height, we have this cambicle, pull it over. There's a nice Velcro closure. Again, we want to make sure everything is tidy there. So our tank is there. Now this Pro HD has a nice handle. We want to give that a, a wiggle. That's going to let us know that it's secure to the tank. So now we have our BCD in our tank. If we had to walk away from this, we're going to lay it down, tank side down, or have a buddy hold it. Now we have our regulator set. Now there are a few things to know about the regulator set when we go to assemble. For Patty and for most recreational diving, you're going to have your regulators on your right side. When we go to assemble this, that's important. Again, this is a yoke style tank valve, yoke style regulator. It has this nice, nice dust cover. When we place the regulator on the tank, we loosen this up just enough to fit. And you notice this little male, it's actually compressible. And that's what goes against your O-ring and makes that seal. Now something to remember, this does not need to be crazy tight. It just needs to be on there so it's not loose. Once we pressurize this, the air pressure and that little spring-loaded valve are going to keep that nice and airtight. Now we can do some tidying up. So we have our alternate air source. We want to come down, and there are two options with this BCD. One, there's what they call their octo pocket. You can fold the hose, place it in, and it's in the triangle of safety. Oftentimes, students seem to prefer, so a lot of our BCDs have, this nice little rubber valve holder. Same thing, it's still in the triangle of safety. There's no obstructions with our hose. Our primary, secondary regulator. 
is nice and clear. On this side, we have our low pressure inflator supply. And we notice we have these nice Velcro tidy straps. We bring this down, and if you've ever used air tools, a lot of air tools are very similar to this. You pull back on the female coupler. Once it starts on there, those little balls in there can fit over there. Then you can just push, and that's what holds that on. This little rim in there, there's O-rings in here. And once it goes on, again, just push. And we can do that now with no pressure in the hose, but we could also do that when it is pressurized. This has a couple little tidy straps, as well as this Velcro strap. Just to keep things nice and tidy and streamlined as much as possible. Then our last piece that you learned about is our console or pressure gauge. We have a couple of options with this BCD. One, we can feed it through this pocket, let it hang out. Typically, more commonly, we will hook it either to this D-ring down low or this D-ring here. It's nice and close without being hard to get to. Okay, so now that we have everything set up, because we have our analog pressure gauge, before we turn on our air, this could, if it failed, come out. So we're going to place that against the back of the BCD. When we go to open this valve, we're going to crack it very slow, but once we know that it's full, you'll hear it and you'll see the, the hoses stiffen up. Once it's cracked open, the pressure balances, we're going to open this valve all the way. So we have our gauge against, we go to crack it open, we go very slow, we can hear it, we see the hoses stiffen up. Once the noise is done, we, we're gonna open this all the way. Okay, we can look at our pressure. So this, because we've been playing with this tank, it's not quite full, but we can see we have pressure. Then we're going to tidy this away. I'm going to hook it on this D-ring. We have all of this. And then before we would walk away from this, if we're on a boat, we're going to put the tank back in the tank boot strap it in however it is. If we're shore diving, we're going to lay this back down. Make sure that we go tank down. We don't want the weight of the tank laying on our nice BCD and rig set. But again, so this is how you would assemble your scuba rig. Next, we're going to disassemble the scuba rig.